Hey there, welcome to my channel. I'm on the mission to hit 100,000 subscribers before the end of 2025, and your support means everything. So don't be that person who watches but doesn't subscribe. Thanks for being here, and let's jump right in. Hello everybody, yes it's with ya, and welcome back to another tutorial on the Twin Plays channel. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about a automatic group ranking system. Basically, everything when it comes to an admin panel, um, you know, an application center, everything that has to do with group ranking. You could do commands, you could do tools, anything you need. Um, so going into this, um, if you're, I mean, if you're new to my channel, feel free to turn on that subscribe, uh, hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications. Trying to get to 100,000 means a lot to me. If you are a part of watching for my series and bring lots of videos and other videos in Google Garden, they're all coming out soon here. But I really wanted to make this video because I know a lot of people out there have been wanting a tutorial like this and I was actually making something like this with my friend Aki for Boho Salon and I was like, you know what, I need to make a tutorial and my good friend Tigo, who's been a part of the series, also helped make this entire kit. So I'm going to leave him in the description, so go check him out. Tigo, you're the man and he's the one that helped write this up so you guys can have this. Um, so yeah, credit to him. So going into this, okay, you're just going to go into the studio and um, go to the description. You know, grab any of the links that are down there, whether it's the dev form post or the model kit. Okay, you're going to need the model kit, of course. Um, but you can actually just look at this too if you want and just, you know, you don't have to skip this tutorial. But if you want to listen up, um, you can listen to that as well. But you're going to give me two, two links, okay? We have a dev form post which talks about group ranking with the Ro uh, Roblox Open Cloud. And you guys are probably wondering, so what, what's new? What's going on? Um, basically, Roblox finally added a new, I mean, this is a while ago as well, actually, but they added a new way of doing, pro, uh, like basically I could say a proxy service or an HTTP service where you can make a group ranking bot, but through Roblox. You don't have to go off third party and a different website to make this. And it's so much better, it's much more safer, and it's actually just like, I think more efficient. Um, but yeah, you got to go get this model, whether you download it or claim it, just go get this model. Um, and we're going to look at what Tigo made. I honestly haven't looked at it. So <laughs> look at this. But when you go into your store, your, uh, your game, go to toolbox and just import the model. It should look like this it should be a folder and inside it. So this is the old one. You have replicated storage. So just put this in replicated storage. You have server script service. So we're going to put that there and then starter GUI. Okay, in the README, so what's included? Uh, fully modular group ranks using the API cloud security so people can't use it. Smooth UI feedback, um, rate limiting prevention, and then place the contents. So you just need to do that. Configuring the group ranking um, system. So authorized users go to server script service and open it up and there should be a table called authorized users. So you replace that, we'll do that. And then you gotta go and follow this tutorial, go to replicate and insert the module name group and open it on this up. And if I'm just replace the following in the config. Okay, so there's remotes and there's the module. And then we have the config, which is group ID and secret key name, which um, we'll talk about this. Now you should have a fully ranking panel. You guys need to find to make a camera frame visible. Um, but yeah, so with this, um, looks like he did it a certain way, but so we can delete this. Okay, so we'll just go and look at the server and we have a cloud module and then we have a ranking holder. But so in the server module, so replace this with your user id so it looks like um yeah this is tigo tigo just did this um and you have your user id so now this is the part where it comes a little too be confusing um there is still an issue with roblox where you can't actually do it through the group api you have to make an alt account now what's the best what's the best practice what's the best way to do this okay normally it's actually the same way as going and make, getting your own like cookies and um going through an account a bot account but so like for how we set up for boho salon and i actually you know what, I, I could probably show you guys but um i'll just show you how we did it so we have a bot um no this is the bot sorry we have a bot right here so, uh, boho salon animation automation and this bot should have these privileges so i'm going to show you guys real quick you go to roles um this bot should be allowed to manage lower ranked members so yes you need to make a bot um in your group why you should do that is because of the way I figured it out that you need to do that, I guess, for some reason. Um, just how it works. So we tried to do that group and it didn't work, but this is the best way to do it. So make your bot and go into your alt account. When you go into your alt account, um, and I'll just do it through mine too, because I don't have any secrets. Um, but when you do it into your thing, sorry, I didn't even show you. You're just going to go to your account. It should be on the create.roblox.com. And I'll close this over to here. 
and you just go to open cloud and then API keys. So in API keys right here, um, this is where we're going to follow the other tutorial. So we'll go and actually look at his. But basically, you do that through your alt account. Okay, this is, he's explains to do it through your Rolex group account. Do it through your alt. So you create the API key. When you create this, you're going to name it. So name it group rank or whatever you want to name it. And then API access permission. You want to make sure that it's set to group read and group write. So you just type in group and then you type in that. No need to worry about that. And then you have your API key. Okay, so once we do the API key, you're going to copy that. So just remember to copy that. And you're going to want to encrypt it to base64 for Roblox Studio. Um, this, is a, this is a fine website. You can click on it. Um, you basically just click this button right here and it'll open up this for you. And you just copy and paste that number. So blah, 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 blah. And you go and copy this, grab this, and just drag it into there and hit bake. And it will give you the output. So then you copy that base64 number. Okay. And that's part two. Once you make that number, so remember, just copy, put it in here, the API key that you made following this tutorial. You copy that base64, and then you're going to go and create the secret. Now, um, pretty simple to do, but you would basically set the secret um, on the website. So you can go to secret in the tab and experience, and I can explain that to you as well. Um, but once you do that, I think for us, we actually were able to just do it and not worry about making secrets. So like I'll go to more tutorials, um, you go secrets, create secret, and then this is where you type in all the stuff. Um, and he explains it once again, uh, right here, you need to do this for the website and you're doing the original K. So this is the base 64. Um, and then going to the Roblox studio key, you need to base 64. So going into this, actually, probably the best way to do this is show you how to put it in your Roblox Studio. Um, I don't think you really have to do the website. If I remember, what we did was you just actually do it through the alt account, and then you go to your game settings inside the game that you want to do. Go to security. Um, oops, permissions. Sorry. No, where is that? Uh, all these stupid names. Is that? Security, right? Oh, I'll allow HTTP request. Duh. Gotta turn that on, okay? Go to security, turn that on, and then you put it right here, okay? So you're gonna you're gonna do this, whatever key you made on your alt account. So whatever this um, right here, whatever name you put for this right here is what you need to put down for here, okay? So you're gonna fill this in like that copy and paste what I just had. Um, this is gonna be the key, right? So this is the key would go key here, and this is gonna be the base sixty four. So make sure it's base sixty four. And then you're going to put like, I don't know, whatever you put the name as. So if it's like secret key underscore test, I don't know, whatever you want to do. Copy that as well. But you would basically put this in here. You set this right here to this base64 key and you click save. Okay, that's it. So just make sure you do that. And it should look like a long, this should be completely filled out. Like it's a huge little thing. Once you do that, um, you basically uh, will just... Yeah, you're good to just I'll, I'll show you this again too so you, it should be a cloud key whatever um then you got to go into the code part so just save it make sure you have it in the module so you see how we have a group id and we have um secret key name okay so in the key name you'd put what you had so secret key underscore test once you do that you have the group id so in the group id you would just go here and put there and um you just put your group ID, which um, technically all you have to do for that as well. Same thing again is go to your ID in your tab. So go to your group tab, copy that, and then you're going to close this and put that there. Um, same thing goes for the alts, uh, your user ID, just right there. So once you do that, put it in here, and I'll just get rid of Tigo for now. But um, you just go like that. Max request per minute, cooldown time, blah, blah, blah. And this will go through and update the player. And then, yeah. That's it. That is all you have to do. So your group ID, the secret key, and it should work. Um, now, you're probably wondering what does the script do itself? So we have the client thing right here. So I don't know if it's going to pop up. It probably won't because it's going to error, but let's just see. Um, as you can tell, it's just if I can't find secret with getting key because I, I didn't make one. Um, but whatever you do for that, it will work. I promise you. Just got to make sure it, uh, that goes through. So, and if you do get this error, so if you go view and output, if you do get this error, that's because the secret key is not right. So, um, either the name's not right or in your secrets, in the game settings, it's not right. So, make sure that works.
Okay, so I wish I could just show you guys because I probably would have just done it if I made the secret tree, but I just don't want to do that. <laughs> um, in here, I'm just gonna show you guys because I probably can just do this. Um, enables on, so visible is true. Okay, so we have a group rank panel. Um, I think how we did it was um, so we have scrolling container, now we have profile card, and then we have text holder. Oh yeah, there's a profile card. So you click the profile and it goes through stuff. So it goes through roles, it grabs all your roles, and it shows you everything. So if you want to make these visible and you want to look through here, you can actually go and do that, and it will go through and um, give you everything that you need. Um, but yeah, and then like role template. So if you put that into role list, if I'm right, uh, profile card. Yeah. So see how it says developer. You could rank them developer. Um, and then I think that's. What I think that's what happened. So yeah, so you see how it goes. I think that's what you did. Um, so you go through here and it basically allows you to click it and you can rank them whatever you want to rank them. Um, you just click rank basically. So it's pretty cool how you did that. Um, and then when you're done with that, just make sure you put it back in the role template, delete whatever is in here. And then going back to this, we'll just disable profile card so you can customize this however you like. Um, in the scrolling container, um, we have player list. So you go to the player template same thing so basically this group app from the rank panel is going to pop up it's going to show the image id of the player their names and then it's going to say you know you click continue and then it's going to pop up that profile card and it's going to allow you to rank them um so that's pretty much the part with uh how the ui works or what it looks like i guess you could say um you're probably wondering though like how, how does it actually work um in all so this is just a scripting with all this kind of stuff now if you really want to go and look at like how you can just do this in general and how you can make it with a group rank thing or um however you like so with this we have the server side okay um we can check a few things okay so get group roles um on server invoke okay rank player remote okay right here so on server invoke this is where he's uh ranking um, so with this, we're just requiring the group rank module, by the way, and um, we're going through a few things here, get membership ID, get group roles. So we're just checking all these things, get role from thing and then update player membership. So this is where we're going to um, basically update the player. If I'm right. Oh, yeah. Update rank right here. OK, so get group, get membership and then update player membership. And so this is what's handling basically the updating of the rank. Um, so as you can tell, on server, you get all group roles and then get group roles and then update rank. Now, um, these are all functions, but going through here, like player membership, we're basically going to request Roblox API and then we are going to um, going uh, do the whole pcall function that goes in between and firing to, firing to Roblox that we want to update the player. Um, and this talks about, if I'm right, this goes through and yeah, just double checks everything and uh, rank success so we this is what we do right here group clade model update rank and then you go and do the update rank so update rank is this and then we just check and update the rank now if it goes through successfully ranks the user and then we just show them ranked user to target user id to new rank number new rank but yeah so that's pretty much it um when it comes to making certain things so if you want to make an application center if you want to make um, a bat or a tool or this all you have to do is require just like this you just have to require the group rank module cloud module and i mean you could do these other remotes and stuff and do the authorized users things like that but like if it's a tool you should just always before check it if the player gets the tool based on the rank or whatever um but this is just checking from things and then yeah so kind of follow his code you can also just pop it in chat gpt and be like okay using this module so you literally only have to use this module technically um how can i make a tool to rank someone um but that should be it on, on setting up so just make sure it's on your alt account you're creating that secret uh however you're doing that so make sure you're creating your secret in the api keys create your secret and then you're going to put that in base 64 code and put that in your game settings in the permission in the security side and everything should be good but yeah, I hope you guys understand how that works. And if you want any more tutorials, maybe something a little more different, but like with application centers and stuff and like kind of going through things, I can show you. Or if you want commands, it's just like slash rank player 
this, we can do that. But hey, guys, um, I will see you in the next video. Bye.